Hello everybody. I've uh, checked out YouTube looking for some videos on the old Dell E310 and found a lot. The ones that I did find had complaints about them. So I thought I would just do a little quick video here on the uh, E310 that I've upgraded. Really inexpensive upgrade. First thing I did was uh, go to Dell and download the new BIOS from the uh, 03 to 04. That allowed me to switch the machine from 32 bit to 64. I've also been able to go from the standard out of the box 2 gig max to I don't know what because I'm running 3 which is really fine for this machine at 3 gigs most everything that I do including gaming only uses between 25 and 30 percent or approximately one gigabyte of the three that I have available. I also put in a Sparkle. I don't know if this will come out or not, but it's a uh, Sparkle GeForce 8400GS with the 512 megabyte DDR3. Very inexpensive. The upgrade allowed that to go on as well. And it's a PS, uh, uh, yeah, PSI. So it would uh, go straight in. Does HD, DVI, and VGA. I'm running on VGA on right now on a small ViewSonic screen. But I also have a an HP 20 inch over here. I've run DVI on it. No problems whatsoever. Beautiful picture. Does it just fine. I have not upgraded <coughs> excuse me, I have not upgraded the power supply so I'm only running the 230 watts. I heard somebody or I, yeah I saw somebody complaining that you couldn't make any upgrades on it because the 230 would would run out of power and you wouldn't be able to do anything. Well, as you can see, I'm running Windows 8. Yeah, Windows 8. I'm also running the 3 3 gigs. I haven't upgraded the CPU. However, you can go to a dual core because it's an LGA 775 and it'll take a dual course. There's a uh, E46 yada 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 something. As long as you stay under the, eight, the 800 megahertz and there are several that are. Uh, the dual core that I was looking at is a dual core 3.4 I believe. So we're talking a pretty good upgrade there but I haven't been able, I haven't been excuse me, I haven't had any problems with the uh, 2.8 uh, P4 that, that, that's running in it right now. I have in fact run uh, World of Warcraft off the web and the only time that I run into some problems is in the cities where there's a lot of where there's a lot of action it uh, does tend to slow down. I wouldn't go into any wouldn't go into any of the battlegrounds with it because you never know when the thing's going to start skipping, jumping around, and whatnot. But other than that, don't have any problems. Plays games, games fairly well. Uh, that's the only online that I've tried. Also does videos, sound. I'm running. I have some Boston's plugged into it right now. Uh, does just fine.
so as far as the complaints about the, the old Dimension E310, I don't see it. This is my internet connection. Uh, again, I'm I'm using right right here. I've I've got Safari up. I use Safari instead of uh, Inter Internet Explorer, basically because people don't hack it as often. I also have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a a new Acer Quad. For the most part, this old Dell with the upgrades that I've done on it pretty much keeps up with it. The only thing that you can do, of course, is the high-end gaming with the Acer because of the quad. But I would imagine that if I switch this over to uh, the dual core, I should be able to do that without any problems too because it takes plenty of memory. Uh, the video is, is beautiful and capable of doing the uh, the game, like I say, I've done it with the uh, Sparkle 8400. Does just uh, wonderful. So I just thought I'd, like I said, do a little video here. Uh, let me see if I can pull up. I can't do just any videos. Of course, as you know, if you watch YouTube or do any work on YouTube. It's got to be your stuff, so uh, here's a, see what we can do with this one. Cancel out the ad. Well, these are the Bostons. I don't know what they pull uh, as far as watts. 30 doesn't have any problem. I also have a uh, an 80 gig external that uh, it's USB plugs in, no problems there either. It runs it just fine. The uh, CPU, standard CPU. Let me cut this thing down. The standard CPU, the P4, pulls 84 watts. The uh, dual core. 46, E46, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I'm sure you can find it on the web. I could I could bring it up in a second, but uh, you can do it yourselves. Just like I said, anything that, that stays under the 800 megahertz because the, the new bio system it doesn't care about anything else. The new, the dual core that you can put in it only pulls 60 watts as opposed to 84. So obviously the 230 is not going to be slowed down by switching to a dual core CPU. And the upgrade was, I would say, about $120 complete so far. It would be another probably 60 to 100. I think that I've seen the CPUs running from 60 to 100. Might even get one cheaper on eBay. But the point being, for little or nothing, you can have a pretty good butt kicking computer out of your old E310. Uh, thanks for putting up with the language and the description. And take care.